the ideal time for you to sell your business is about right here, about halfway through the growth stage because you've gotten past the constraints, which means that you've had enough time to show positive uh, compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, right, growing over time. And um, if, you, if you can do that, then that's great. You've gotten past constraints, so this would be a horrible time to sell because you're probably, you're, you're going to not have enough of a track record to get at least three years to get what you should be able to get for the company and you're also going to start at some point unknown, run into the constraint phase. So you really want to kind of knock all this, these issues out and get here where you're experiencing uh, more, more growth issues where you can add channels, expand lines, do acquisitions, programmatic M&A we'll talk about in a minute, um, form strategic alliances. And you want to sell early in that. I talked to a lot of people who are like, no, I want to max it out. And as soon as I get to 100 million or 300 million or whatever, then I'm going to sell. If you have maxed it out, they are not stupid and they'll see that. They want blue sky. So they want to buy knowing that they'll be able to, if, if you're selling to a PE company or something like that, they're going to really be looking to 5X that in three to five years. So if you don't leave them an opportunity to do that, then it's going to be hard for you to get what you want for the business. The time to not sell is once you get to maturity because when your growth curve starts to flatten out, then your, your trailing financials and your trailing metrics are not going to be exciting enough for them to give you what you want because they're going to believe, they're going to see that it's starting to level out and unless they've got some magic that they can bring or you can sell them on some magic that you're going to bring, then you're not going to get nearly as much here as you're going to get here.